Example 3.7 That is a text example question. Calculate the lambda m naught for calcium chloride and magnesium sulfate from the data given in the table 3.4. Now look at the table 3.4 in that we have to find out the value of lambda m naught for the calcium ion, chloride ion, magnesium ion and sulfate ion. So let us apply the uh, Kurlash law here. So according to the Kurlash law what we can write for the calcium chloride. So lambda m naught for calcium chloride is equal to lambda m and lambda naught for calcium ion plus twice lambda naught for chloride ion. That is limiting molar conductivity of calcium chloride is equal to limiting molar conductivity of a calcium ion plus twice of limiting molar conductivity of chloride ion. Now this value that is lambda naught for calcium ion and lambda naught for chloride ion we can from we can take from the table 3.4. So let us look at the table 3.4. This is the table 3.4 in that for the calcium ion the value is given lambda m naught value is given and for the chloride ion the value is given. So while taking this value we can substitute that value in that problem. So in this problem so we will substitute the value for the lambda m naught for the calcium ion that is this value and twice of lambda m naught value for the chloride ion twice that is important it is twice here because calcium chloride the formula is CaCl2 so twice chloride ions are there so we have to multiply by 2 here when we make a calculation we get the answer in this way. Next we have to find out for magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate we know that it's split into magnesium ion and sulfate ion. That means the lambda m naught value for MgSO4 is equal to lambda m naught for Mg2 plus ion and the lambda m naught for a sulfate ion. Now we will find out the values of magnesium and sulfate ion from the table 3.4. So from the table 3.4 magnesium ion the value is given here lambda m naught value is given and for the sulfate ion also the value is given. So by taking this value we will substitute here in the problem. So we will make a sum of this one and we get the answer that is in the unit s centimeter square mole inverse that is the unit for the molar conductivity and the same will be the unit for the molar conductivity at infinite dilution. So in the examination you might not be given that table but the values of these values that is lambda m naught for magnesium ion for this value these values will be given in the problem and you have to do a calculation in this way. So this is all about this video. Have a nice day.